What is up everyone? Today we are going to take a look at the Onsmo Strobis X500 Speedlight. What is up everyone? It's Jason here for today with JJ Film Productions. And anyway, 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 I just received Hold on, let me change my shirt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will wear this one. I will wear this one for the rest of the videos. And soon, soon. There's another, there's more video come out. So soon, we'll wear that one. Come with a small box, white box. Not really have anything right at the front or the back. Flash. We have instructions, manual, wireless trigger, hot shoe holder, and yeah, I paid for that one. Receipt. XR batteries for the trigger. Not really that. It's not. Uh, it's not a normal. Uh, Batteries, I would say. I never see this kind of battery before. Says a 23A. So it looks just like this one. And silicon gel. Nothing there. Nothing much. This thing costs only 300 ringgit for tons of things. A lot. It's not really that pricey, I would say. It only costs you 3 100 ringgit. Today we have on small Strobis X500. Pretty well made, I would say. It's solid, I would say. It doesn't feel cheap. Maybe it feels plastics, yes, but it doesn't feel cheap anyway. Turn to the front, you ever see the name of on small. And there's an optic, uh, option of slave. Option of slave, I'm not sure how is it called. Option of slave point. We'll talk about that later. Turn to the side, you'll be able to see there's a there's a place where we can put our batteries. It takes four AA batteries. One, two, three, four. On the left hand side, we'll be able to see a rubber thingy. Pull it out. Just pull that things out, like this one. Okay, you'll be able to see a three pin connector, which able to let you have the external power. And then moving on, you're able to see this one. Uh, it, it's a PC sync connections. You will be able to connect with the trigger cable right here. Moving to the back, right the corner right here, right bottom down part, you will see a on and off switch. Turn it on, just that easy. Doesn't have much, doesn't really have much um, numbers right on the top. No, there's no uh, screen right here, just the level of the power. So. Moving on to here, you're able to see a plus and minus button, which are able to let you control the power of the flash. If you press the plus button, you're able to make it higher. Press the minus button, you're able to make it lower. So this is the least one. This, this is the least power which I can find. Let's test the highest power. Let's test button right here. You can just test it out. Very bright. Very, very bright. Just, which is 1-1, one, one. the power is 1-1. One, one. Okay, so luckily, you have mode right here. Down part, you're able to see a wireless icon right here. So you just turn it on by just clicking it, holding it. This is turn it off. Click, hold it. It's on. So it's on, since it's on, you will be able to take this one. This one is your trigger. It has an input receiver, which is 433 megahertz. Trigger, receiver, there's nothing down there. So it's very, very convenient. There will be no necessary for you to worry about uh, your uh, receiver will be lost or what. So you only have to hold one single trigger. So very convenient. 
So moving to the top part right here, you will be able to see all of this numbering is not, there is no necessary for you to worry about it because this one is only connects with this. So you only have to align this one to the top, one straight line to the top, then you will be able to connect with the trigger. One thing for sure for this one, this trigger is that these things will always turn on. So you might need to change the batteries once in a while. However, it doesn't really trouble me a lot because I bought this one is like months ago. I didn't really change my batteries yet. Uh, I still have my extra batteries right here. Let's turn to the highest power, which is 1-1. One, one. All right, 1-1. One, one. Let's take a look at the refresh. Basically, what I know from this one, it will refresh in approximately two seconds, I would say. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two. Two seconds. One, two. Two seconds. So, moving on, you're able to see S1 and S2. S1 and S2, which is slave 1, slave 2. Slave 1, which is if there is any flash triggering towards here, it will trigger the flash. Moving on to the next one, which is S2. S2 is for the second option of slave. Right, moving to the top, turn to the left, go return. 180 degree to the back however turn to the right side you only have 90 degrees to turn so please don't turn it 360 or 180 please these things I usually will take it for events I would say event or even flash photography for products and or anything else which you need flash like this one this things right here to be honest with you this things right here is a very beginner's flash I would say it's not really that professionals have all those numbering right here have the zoom uh, adjustment there's no zoom there's only a power button right here so I would like well I would like to recommend all of this to all starters beginners who want to try out the start uh, the flash photography so this is definitely a very very recommended Right everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you like this, please click the like button right down below. If you have any comments or any ideas for this videos or any other videos, comment right down below. I definitely would like to hear about it. And definitely check these things out. I'll definitely put the link right down below. Check it out at the bigbigstudio.com. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.